and welcome to our look at the charming and historic city of Oxford. This video also contains a few pictures as well. We hope you like what you see and don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future travels. As you may know, Oxford sits in the county of Oxfordshire, 60 miles northwest of London and nestled next to the Cotswolds. For our journey we stay at Voco Oxford Spires and our journey will take you through some of the highlights of the town including the colleges and some other places you may want to check out. So let's not waste any more time, let's go and explore. We were lucky that our accommodation just south of town was on the banks of the River Thames so it allowed us the opportunity to take a slow stroll in. long before we reached our first college of Christchurch and then a short stroll and we were at Merton College and that was our approach to this mini break just go and explore those historic streets and see what you could find it was quite surprising how compact the city was and how easy it was to stumble across Corpus Christi or Oriel College and in no time at all stumbling along another lane this one Brasner's before heading to the very impressive Radcliffe camera this neoclassical building was completed in 1748 to house the Radcliffe Science Library and it's one of those iconic views of the city but this city does have more than its fair share of amazing views And another place worth exploring is the Bodian Library, which is something you may recognise from the Harry Potter films. We didn't visit on this trip, but that's one for next time. We took in the architecture and scenes we remember from that hit TV series Inspector Morse. And who couldn't love the Hartford Bridge, nicknamed the Bridge of Size after its inspiration in Venice. This was opened in 1914. And if on your break to Oxford knowledge is your thing, then why not visit the Ashmolean Museum, which specialises on art and archaeology. And then there's the Natural History Museum. In fact, there's numerous museums throughout the city of Oxford that you may want to check out. Another place to check out will be the Covered Market. It has an eclectic mix of different stores and stalls, all housed in this rather beautiful building. It's also a great place to pick up a bite to eat. We opted for, you guessed it, ice cream. Ice cream, you get it? And it would be rude not to stop for a swift half, especially at the White Horse with its connections to Inspector Morse. And then there's the Turf Tavern, with an interesting list of past patrons. But don't spend all your time in the pub. Make sure you get out and discover those pretty little lanes and quaint little streets that make up the back roads of Oxford. You'll find a city steeped in history, one worth exploring. we found fascinating was the University Church of St Mary the Virgin. We made sure there wasn't a service in progress and took a look inside. One thing we would recommend is checking out a college and we chose Magdalen. For a small fee you can check out a few key locations and it's well worth doing. I'll pop a link in the description so you can check out access and details. 
I just love some of these places. They look like they're just straight out of Harry Potter. And to walk in the same footsteps as some of the famous alumni. Names like John Benjamin, Robert Hardy, Ian Hislop, Lawrence of Arabia, C.S. Lewis, Dudley Moore, and Oscar Wilde. And that's just a small selection of names from just one college. It's from here you can take a stroll along the River Sherwell, towards the Magdalen Bridge, where you can find them punting. Perhaps something else to add to your to-do list when you visit the city. As always, the couple of nights we spent here, including a day tour in the nearby Cotswolds, was not enough, and we're going to return one day. Have you any fond memories of Oxford? We'd love you to leave a comment and let us know what you think of either the video or memories you have of the city. So that concludes our visit to the city of Oxford. I really hope you like what we put together here. Remember, stay safe, stay well and happy travels. Thanks so much. <laughs>